Glass-free half cell modules, 60 to 70 percent less weight than uh, ordinary glass modules. How this works and what the advantages are, we will find out now. Hello Thomas, nice to meet you. <laughs> Good morning. What innovations did you bring to this trade fair? Uh, for, for InterSolar this year, we're proud to release our new module called Dragonfly. Okay. It leverages our existing lightweight solar technology, but allows us now to incorporate a conventional mounting system. So your other modules used to be glued on the roof. Yes. And here it's a nuts and bolts system, so more the traditional way. Yeah, so we, we can employ a conventional mounting system approach to leverage the ecosystem of mounting hardware that's available on the European market to, right. to allow our installer base to have a, a quick bonded solution, which gives us the lighter, lighter solution, or using a, me a mechanical fixing solution where we can have the ability of being able to uninstall the modules right. Um, right. As, as well. What's the weight advantage of your modules compared to an ordinary glass module? So Sunman's innovation is we've developed a composite material uh, that has the same strength and durability of glass okay. without any of the weight. Okay. So by removing the weight aspect, our panels are 70% lighter um, than compared to, to glass modules. Where is this composite um, in the module? Is it on the back sheet or is it on the front sheet? Or? Well, it's a lamination layer. So it's, it's uh, oh, I see. yeah, so our cells are encapsulated yep. in our yep. proprietary composite material. So the composite material may be new in a solar application, but it's been used for many decades in the automotive and uh, aerospace industries. All right. The lighter All right. your vehicle is, the more energy efficient it is. So we've, we've taken those learnings and then brought them to the solar industry. So the same strength and durability of glass without any of the, right. the weight. Okay. Um, in terms of durability, what life expectancy can we have? Yeah, so the solar market is very sophisticated that uh, we have lots of uh, international standards to, to, to test to. So in particular, IEC 61215, where all solar modules have to go through this extended durability test. So in that sense, we've had to pass the same durability test that glass modules have. So in terms of their life expectancy and durability, we're, we're the same as glass modules. You're the same as glass modules, but uh, the weight is about 10 times less um, compared to an ordinary glass yeah, module. 70% lighter, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. So uh, what uh, market are you aiming at? So our primary target market is the industrial market. So if you take large span industrial warehouses, yep. three, 4,000 yep. square meters, one megawatt of glass panels weighs 80 metric tons. So a lot of buildings, when they were built five or 10 years ago, nobody in the future, or nobody in the past even said- one, earlier. One, yeah, yeah, even <laughs> earlier. One day said, we're gonna put a megawatt, uh, 80 tons of solar on our roof. So um, as systems are getting bigger, as the industrial market is seeing the benefits of renewable energy, um, we really are solving that problem around static load or wind uplift. Right. Is this uh, an international aspect or, I mean, I know I've, I've talked to installers uh, recently in Germany and the CI market is catching up a lot. Yes. So is this an international phenomenon? It's an international, yeah, physics is physics. We all yeah, live yeah, on the same planet. Physics, of course. Weight yeah. is weight. Yeah, always yeah. Falls from the top through the bottom, yeah. Yeah, so you know, buildings around the world, uh, when they were built right. five, 10, 15 years ago, right. nobody right. F foresaw right. the, the big heavy glass panels right. going on this roof. So it is a global problem. And we estimate that uh, structural issues globally is a two or 300 gigawatt market globally. So we're really solving that, that, um, that, that problem. Okay. We've designed a module that's specifically designed for rooftop applications. What is the, the power output on your module? Is this about the same? Um, is this one meter 60 to one meter? So this is uh, roughly sort of uh, 2.1 by uh, 1.2 dimensions. If we just take a step back, 
Sunman is a material science company. We've developed a composite material that has the same strength and durability of glass. Right. We've developed a manufacturing process that allows, allows us to make modules. When it comes to cells and uh, generation, we, we use the same cells that are used in the conventional glass module market. So uh, we have full access to the, the cells available in the market. We incorporate right. those into our, right. into our module. So in terms of electrical performance, in terms of warranty, in terms of generation, we're on par with that with, with glass because we use the, in effect, the same cells. So this sounds like a trigger for the module market. Is this your feeling you get from We really the feel we're at an evolutionary split. Right. So glass has been the predominantly, uh, predominant manufacturing technique but glass is bulky, it's heavy. The poor installers who have to take 4,000 panels Absolutely. up on a roof and carry a 30 kilogram panel. Absolutely. They just were not designed for, for that. So we really feel that we're at an evolutionary split, that in, in 10 years time, there'll be glass module manufacturers who are predominantly serving a utility market, and then there'll be lightweight solar uh, manufacturers servicing a rooftop market, because right. you want lightweight solar, you want it to be easier to install, you want it to be quicker, you want it to be lighter. So we really feel we're at this stage where uh, lightweight solar will, will be the do dominant right. technology for the rooftop market. And it's flexible as well. So if you have a bend, you can adapt it. Yeah, so our primary uh, selling advantage is, is the weight, um, but our secondary feature is the panels are semi-flexible, so we can adjust to, to different services and accommodate uh, buildings and structures with, with a slight curve. Great. So I think we've uh, learned a lot about a new trend in the yes. module market. Great. And if you are looking for more information, you simply click the link below.